Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Okay guys, so hopefully you caught us today for our Vanderpump Rules recap. Unfortunately, Dave Neal was not able to make it. However, next week, I'm sure it'll be, it'll be fun because we'll have more collaborations and stuff. As you guys know, Jason and I are in the middle of a move. So there's so many things that are happening. I just appreciate the hell out of all of you for bearing with us both on Up and Adam channel one and two. And on the podcast. Now, with that, we have some information about something about her and also one of the Valley stars, her new boyfriend, because we know that she announced the divorce. So before we jump in, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we have to start off with the something about her news because this is actually a really big deal. Now, let me just start this off by prefacing the fact that something about her has just been a concept for a long time that they've been working on, trying to build out in West Hollywood, and it's been one thing after another. I personally believe, actually, I think it was even Sheena who said this, that Looking back, like, would they redo it again? Who knows? Katie and Ariana, I know that once they get over the hill and they have it open and they start, you know, recouping some of this money that they have put into permits and building the place out, then having to demolish certain things and then rebuilding it out and then paying people and then whatever happened with Chef Penny, it sounds like it's been a fucking nightmare. But once it starts making money, I think we'll be good. Now, Back to the announcement. Back to the announcement. Thank you to realitytea.com. Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney, something about her, gets an official opening date. It's been almost three years since Vanderpump Rules, Ariana Maddox, and Katie Maloney revealed their plan to open a rom-com-inspired sandwich shop in West Hollywood. Something about her. Now, the duo has mostly attributed the umpteen opening date pushbacks to city permitting issues and problems with the outdoor patio. But the other day, Katie shot down the notion that the whole operation was a scam to sell merch or have a Vanderpump Rules storyline and also promised that the shop was so dangerously close to opening. We've heard that before, um, is what Reality T is saying. So it was easy to pay it no mind. However, it looks like things are finally starting to come together. Something about her now has an official opening date and it's very, very soon. Hmm. Okay. The last something about her opening date that didn't happen was January 15th, 2024. Now, according to a source who spoke with the U.S. Sun, the shop will start officially slinging its butcher paper and twine adorned sandwiches on Wednesday, May 22nd, literally less than a month away. Leading up to its official opening, something about her will have some soft openings. Hopefully, they've added some new menu items because obviously we've seen two of the tastings and, you know... Mm. A source revealed that the shop also has plans for a big WeHo Pride party. That celebration weekend runs from May 31st to June 2nd. But despite all of the prior issues, they said, this is what the insider said, the inside of the shop is ready to go. Everything is still in place as it has been teased on the show. However, there's still some outside signage missing. The patio was ripped out. It hasn't been rebuilt. Something about her will have some outdoor seating, though the patio isn't there. The shop is going to add tables to the side alleyway and a custom bench right in front of the store. Right now, there are just a few chairs where the patio once stood, and apparently it's serving as a waiting area for potential employees. But the prospective hires, well, viewers already saw getting interviewed earlier this season, must have needed actual jobs in the meantime. They are so shady over here at realitytea.com. We will finally see a fully operating shop in season 12, I guess, if there is a season 12. At least it looks like Ariana and Katie will soon be making enough literal bread to pay the rent with their sandwiches rather than their premature something about her sweatshirts and socks. Um, I don't know what Katie and Ariana did to whoever um, is, is slamming this shit and being like, well, good luck. Good luck, and hopefully you have enough of this and this in order to pay your... It's like, what did something happen? Anyways, 
now we have a new opening date. I know we've had one a couple times, but it looks like things are moving forward, which is a great thing. Moving over from Vanderpump Rules to the Valley, there was more. There's always more. So, apparently, Michelle Lolly, this is her, obviously, if you guys are watching The Valley, confirmed that she's seeing someone new amid her separation with Jesse, as fans believe they've identified the mystery man. The Valley star, who opened up about her marital difficulties on the show, also addressed rumors that she had an affair with the famous director. In an April 20th Instagram Q&A, Michelle confirmed her new romance. Someone amazing. I like our little privacy for the moment. In another post, Michelle revealed that she moved from the home that she shared with her husband and addressed if they could possibly reconcile. No, my only goal is to be friends one day, is what she said. And yes, we will continue working together with past clients, but moving forward, I will have my own clients and vice versa. Now, soon after the post about her new romance, fans spotted her friend Brittany Cartwright's Instagram video of a group hangout. And in the footage, Michelle sat close to a man named Aaron Nosler, who's a financial advisor who has posed with her recently and other posts per Us Weekly. In her Q&A, Michelle addressed re-watching the end of her marriage on TV, saying, I hope you all realize this. It was a very difficult time for me. Last summer was very difficult for many reasons. I didn't know I looked this unhappy, but yes, some scenes have made me cry, and they've been rough to watch. We originally talked about doing the show years ago when our three-year-old daughter Isabella was really young, and I was unsure that the show would get picked up, and then we got the call that it went straight to series. I figure marriages are difficult and there are ups and downs and we can be authentic in showing our issues. She said that their daughter is adjusting to all of the changes. Isabella is incredible. It's been a great transition for her. She liked the idea of having two homes, two different beds and toys. And this has been a positive change for her. Hmm. I think people misunderstood me. It was supposed to be a joke. And this is what she's talking about referring to Jesse being one of the longest booty calls. The first time I had coffee with Jesse, I didn't, think he you know talked too much and i didn't i didn't think that he was for me but when we went on a date it was very different it went smoothly and remember we were together for nine years and our relationship used to be very different she then discussed the rumor that she had an affair with an unidentified director absolutely not part of my job as a real estate agent is to network and build relationships it had absolutely nothing to do with dating anyone she's saying that shit's not true because if you guys, well, one, if you didn't catch the recap, you got to go back and watch it because we addressed some of this. But also, two, that was pretty explosive. The other thing, though, is Kristen Doty, again, and I know I said this, Kristen Doty's a lot of things. Like, wild, fun, quirky, crazy Kristen. But I don't know how much of this she would throw out there just for a storyline. Like, I don't find her to be lying about it. But then again, that's total assumption. I'm guessing. I don't know Michelle. I do know Kristen. And I'm guessing. I'm I'm putting all of my eggs in the basket that Kristen Doty is telling the truth about Michelle Lolly having said affair. But anyways, moving on. I want to hear what you guys think go ahead, pop off in the comments section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. This week, I know that we didn't have hot, messy topics on Monday, but we did do the Vanderpump Rules recap today. So go be a part of the replay crew. But then this Friday, we'll be doing hot, messy topics again. So don't worry, that's coming as well. I have, I have the dog who's tormenting the cat now. So smash the like button, show some love, guys. And I guess I gotta go break up this bitch fight. Yeah, here I go. Wish me luck. You can